men that don't suck. Where are we finding them? Someone tell me where I can find a decent, loyal, funny, good looking guy around here? I'm convinced that it ain't no motherfucking men out here anymore. It's just with balls. Where have all the good men gone? Where are all the men? Where can I find a good man? Where can I find a man? Where are all the men? Where are the men at? Where are the men that are gonna open the car door? Where are the men at that are going to provide and protect? Like, women have ruined this for us. Where do I find y'all? Do you ever think that they might be sick and tired of having half their stuff taken from them if you're not happy? Did you ever think that they don't like being accused of being abusive because, I don't know, they, they said, I don't like this, or you shouldn't do that, or maybe they got angry. Where are all the good men that still respect women to understand that they don't deserve to be played with, lied to, and manipulated? All the good men got played, so now all they do is just work, scroll TikTok, chill, and ignore people. I am genuinely curious why y'all are saying no to marriage. Like, I just want to know. The good men are the ones that have put in so much effort and had women trash them for putting in the effort. They've had women take advantage of them because they wanna be a gentleman, they wanna open the doors, they wanna pay for your dinner, and you just expect that that is supposed to happen. The idea that you should have multiple men pandering after you just to see which one is the best is atrocious. I can't believe that I'm 28 years old and I have nothing to show for it. Nothing. What the fuck have I done? My entire life. What have I done? Leave these bad boys alone. You don't want them. They might be fun when you're young. They don't work. They want to party all the time. They want to do drugs. They want to smoke. They want to hustle. Leave them alone. This is the year to get a corny man, okay? We're moving on. That's the new groove. If you corny, you are for me. Russell Wilson, think like that. You want a man that want to go to school, want to study, want to have a steady job. Because let me tell you something, okay? You're going to look up in that corny dude who was working the nine to five, going to school and all that stuff you're gonna look up and 10 years later he gonna own the store he gonna own the mcdonald's he gonna have his doctor's degree he gonna have whatever else and you done passed up on him when you was young and fine and kidless playing with the hustlers okay and he gonna be married to somebody else looking at you crazy like no he don't want you ladies it's time to play the long, smart game. Get somebody with potential who likes you. He may be corny. He may not have it all. But guess what? Y'all can grow together. And you'll be looking back and you'll thank me later. Okay? This is the year to get a corny man. Where are all the good men? They're pretty much hiding out until they find the same thing that they will provide. It's basically for their weaknesses and insecurities to be known but not taken for granted. Which I know sounds like a duh, bare minimum kind of thing. But the truth is, is that that sort of thing is expected of men. But somehow it is not expected for men. And that's why good men are still out there. They just don't want to be found by the wrong person. Society only chooses to focus on toxic masculinity. I'm here to provide you with my list of the top toxic femininity traits utter disdain for men these are the women that categorize all men with the stereotypical toxic masculinity traits just because someone has a y chromosome does not mean that their only intention is to sleep with you cheat on you or traumatize you with their uncontrollable aggression and anti-feminist behavior always trying to outman men same women who want to be equal to men also pray for the downfall of men amazing how that works ladies if you spend your entire life trying to prove to men that you can be better than them you'll attract none of them leave us alone and when they finally do, what then will one have to complain about? Where are all the good men? Here's the thing. Um, I just want to let you know as an update, the good men are everywhere. They are everywhere, sis. The problem is you uh, either have disqualified them for your own unrealistic, ridiculous requirements, or they have been so scared from accusations being told that they are harassing or you know thinking that they that you want them to approach you but then
carrying on like how dare they find the audacity to approach you men men female anybody who feels that way about marriage um please just let me know why because i'm genuinely curious like even after having somebody literally tell me i do not want to marry you and i had to break up with them because they weren't gonna do it um i just feel like i would still get married to the right person because marriage could be a beautiful thing and I do 